All right, so three big things you need to know. Let's start with the story that affects everyone, and that's the weather. As we begin this week, we are feeling very humid. We have some light showers around the area, kind of like Sunday, a dreary-looking start to the day. Chief Meteorologist Mike Burr says it's not going to be a washout today or this week, but we will face times of cloudy skies, rain, and maybe even a few thunderstorms Monday through Wednesday. Better chance for more significant rainfall by Thursday and Friday. The humidity is going to be pretty high. That's return. We're not really into great fall weather and sustained fall weather until Halloween, as we always say. Uh, And then by Tuesday and for the remainder of the week, temps are back up into the 80s, maybe even into the middle 80s, so turning kind of uncomfortable. The other thing that we're going to have to watch very closely is Tropical Depression 26, soon to become Delta, that is exiting uh, Jamaica and moving uh, into the Gulf of Mexico gradually. Uh, There's still a lot of days to track this thing, but as of right now, Mike's thinking is this could be a hurricane and maybe even a major hurricane and approaching the central Gulf Coast area. We may have some fringe effects in Florida and northeast Florida. The story is still coming together. The forecast will continue to evolve throughout the week, so make sure you're checking in for updates. We will keep you informed. Follow along and talk in the tropics with Mike Burrish at WOKB.com. What an interesting weekend it was for developments in the president's health as we heard upbeat assessments at times from his doctors only to be rebuffed by unnamed White House officials, which ultimately were named as the uh, White House chief of staff. And uh, then there were questions on Sunday about being released from the hospital. The president went on a bit of a motorcade tour around Walter Reed Medical Center to thank supporters, which then raised problems and questions there and as we sit here on this monday morning we're recording this uh, in the six o'clock hour eastern time the president's still hospitalized at walter reed it's unclear when he will be released and what the next status of his treatment plan for coronavirus will be we'll have updates for you throughout the day you can follow any breaking developments in the 104.5 wokv app and after a couple of years of talk and development of that lot j plan outside of tia bank field in the stadium district finally today at noon we're going to get more details about the city commitment and potential investment to the tune of tens and maybe even hundreds of millions of dollars as the mayor some city council members and jaguars leadership including the owner and the general manager will will all get together to talk through that they call it a catalyst for a major development in the stadium district and entertainment district how much it may ultimately cost taxpayers both in incentives and even cold hard cash will be a story we'll follow for you through the day follow updates throughout the day on 104.5 fm and instantly in the wokb app